Welcome to Radio Fixer's channel. Subscribe for upcoming videos. Welcome back. This is part two of registration. This is Zenet Radio. I want to really thank you for all the subscribers watching all these videos. Really, my goal is uh, to create these videos so a brand new person can use the information and be able to get into the hobby. It is really is a wonderful hobby and very rewarding uh, to bring back something that totally, you know, dead back to life and sing again. In this part, I'm going to do my best to repair the missing portion you know, of this cabinet. I suggest pretty highly to go back and watch part one. On part one, we repaired two large uh, cracks and in this part we're going to focus uh, hopefully i can do it we're going to do it together in this part we're going to build this missing part hopefully going to work again i appreciate for you guys watching yeah, i really appreciate for all the uplifting comments you're all great i hope you enjoy this video take care what are my plan is to use this tin foil as you know a glue in the back I'm going to cut it to the piece. I'm going to put it over this cardboard like this. Then trying to wrap this around like that. Then fill up the area with epoxy. As you see, I took this outside and sand all this. Take some, uh, all some piece. Remember, it was a straight cut so the epoxy can actually stick to the, to these parts because if it's a straight like this they're not going to work so does this going to work i don't know this is the first time i'm doing this i work in other big light but never missing this big piece uh, so let's see if this going to work or not all right So the goal is, you know, the epoxy doesn't stick with the aluminum that well, so I can't remove the aluminum much easier. I'm taking all the bubbles out, which is totally straight, okay? Now we want to put this here. All right, these are uh, the product I'm going to use, JB Weld, and as a epoxy, add them together, then mix them really well, then fill up that area with it. But we have to make sure it is mixed really well, otherwise it's going to be a sticky. It's not going to cure very well if you don't mix it well. This is not like your other one I used, the other one is a fast dry this is a slow dry you can make sure to read instruction when you're using all these products okay we'll make sure to lay this and fill up every area okay this is i'm going to let it sit uh, for a few hours and it's going to as you see start uh, self-leveling and it's so let it dry and we get back to it in a few hours to check it out i might wait overnight and make sure it's totally cured i will show you uh, later this is 24 hours later let's take this out and check to see What's going on here?
this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Fit perfect. All right, let's take this out. I already, you know, bend all this, made them straight, and here it has some type of like a fiberglass thing. I removed it. Let me show you. It was something like this. It's a fiberglass sand. Then I'm going to get rid of it, make another thing for it. This fiberglass is all falling apart, and the fiberglass is not a good thing to keep around, anyhow. So I don't want to push it from this side because I might bend it. So let's take it from the other side. Very loosen up two sides. Very gentle. You just Be very gentle, you don't want to bend it. And the reason I'm taking this out is I want to polish it and I also spray clear coat so always it stays shiny. All right. Then make them straight here. So be easy, things time to go in and out. This I'm using this because it's smooth. See the other one has this, so I don't want to damage it. Alright, we're gonna put this aside so it doesn't get damaged. No, I can't get there, you know, and polish everything. That's why I wanna be out. It's a very unique radio, that's why I like it. And one thing good about this epoxy, you actually, after it's totally dry, you can sand it with the foul. So like that. Pretty smooth. So that's why I'm using this epoxy, because first, it's pretty strong. Second, also, you can sand it, paint it, do whatever you want to stain it. I'm cleaning all the extra epoxy, then I'm going to put another layer here. And this is the product, of course, I'm using. I'm going to put the second layer here, fill it up. Again, make sure to mix them really well, but don't take that much time because you want to lay them as quick as possible. The goal here is to make it as smooth as possible. All right, that is fine. I'm going to let it dry. Mask tape the area that I I didn't want paint to get to it. I took it outside the house, of course. And as you see, mass tape also inside. Remember, the damage area was here. And that already fixed, as you can tell. And I spray just this area, not the complete radio. I didn't want to spray the complete radio. Even it's black, uh, Bakelite. But I just want to show you how to repair area that this was damaged so I put it in the attic area it sits now for for a long time for several days it passed so what I'm doing now I got a little water you know the best thing to do this is outside the house but I just want to show you the process that we are taking so you get you know, some water, this is just regular water. Put a couple of drop of soap in it, you know, just a couple of drop. Then you have to have a sandpaper. I'm going to start with, this is a 400, they call it wet sandpaper, wet and dry sandpaper. And 3M is a good product. So I'm going to cut a small piece, and so you put it in the water like that, right? 
then you just gently go to the area that you paint gently you hear the noise those are over spray that is coming off you see like that very gentle again put it in the water you have to constantly make sure to soak it in the water otherwise it's going to scratch all over the radio so you do like this again you hear the noise see here is more smooth again I see the colors start not coming out inside the water so you get a paper towel again do this outside if you uh, choose to okay so have the paper towel handy then see start becoming very smooth so I'm going to do this with you know I start with 400 then gradually go to a thousand and if you have up to two thousand you're gonna you're gonna sand it very gentle so that that's your goal I'm gonna get the area to get over the spray because when you spray it you don't want to mask the area because then it will show some line you just want to gently spray I wish I show you how but spray just the damage area all right it, then it's gonna have a little over a spray and those over spray with sandpaper and water you can actually remove those but again uh, use um, if you like to start like 600 or 800 uh, you know I, I'm doing this for a long time so that's why I'm using 400 but if you if this is your first time or so start 800 and above all right it, so you can see so this is over spray Okay, soak it. Same concept. Look at the dirt that is coming out. Okay. See that? So you don't want to sand too much to take all the paint that you spray out. You want to sand enough to get the smooth then you can buff it. So let me continue doing this. Here's a roof the tape see that again this set for several days you know you have to let it dry very well and don't want to spray and sand it you're going to get messed up let's just let it sit for several days if you can wait a week or so and put it in the attic to dry faster see all this tape and take it out see I taped the area that I didn't want to paint here too and take time when you Mask taping it, you know, take time, make sure everything is covered. Look at what I did. First, I put masking tape, then I put that over it because I didn't want to over spray everywhere. I don't want that. Underneath, I covered the area. I'm going to leave this on where it has all those the schematic. I don't want to mask that up. So, inside, sometimes you need to sand this, sometimes you don't. I might just leave it alone because it is very nice. If I sand it, then buff it, then the imperfection area will show. So the best is maybe leave inside alone. I'm just going to buff it up, okay? Because it look good. It's acceptable. It's exactly like that. You know, when I buff inside the area, they're all going to look the same. So I'm not going to sand it inside again. Uh, because you, you don't want all the imperfection shows. As soon as you sand it, what's going to happen it's going to be smooth like this shiny so any any imperfection uh, any scratch anything will show so inside i'm not going to do that all right i sand it complete the top and the side as you can see uh, you know with uh, 400 it was very lightly and then 600 uh, then 800 now I am to a thousand so right here is a thousand again this is wet and dry you know 3m and uh, so you might ask why I add soap to the water of course I change the water every time you change you know the sandpaper 
on a different grade, make sure to change the water, fresh water, and get a new paper towel. Don't use the old one. Because when you sand this, everything get in the water and it might have scratched the radio. The reason I add soap to it, uh, this my brother used to be a paint and body shop. And he taught me this, if you add a couple of drop of hand soap in it, the sandpaper is going to run over the material much smoother. It's going to protect it from scratching it, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. So you're going to use this thousand grade, again, like that. And now I'm going to go entire area to the top. I can go all the radio if I want to, you know, so uh, this one, you know, they make up to 2,000, but I think 1,000 is fine in this. You see, it doesn't make as much noise anymore. It's very gentle. Make sure to, every time you do this, get a paper towel, run over it. See? It turns a little dull. Don't worry about that. Again, don't do it too much to mess everything up. Just enough for be a smooth. You see how smooth it is right now? You see, there's no imperfection at all. Everything is smooth. See that? Okay. So again, gentle like that everywhere. See how smooth it is now? Very, very smooth. The soap helps it for sandpaper move easier so you don't put any scratch, unnecessary scratch, right? Okay, that's all. You don't want to overdo it, right? Just enough for it be smooth and a little dull, you see, like that. This is now it's going to be ready for next process. See so here again, or spray. You can hear it. You do not want to sand inside. Okay, leave that alone. You can buff that, that not sand it. Here it has some over spray, so I'm going to sand that too. Already did with other grades, sandpaper. You hear? What we're going to do now, after we sand it, as you saw, we're going to use this product, and you use all my radios. And this is, we're going to apply uh, again gently. Before you use this on your radio, try to use it somewhere inside. Make sure it's not eating up your, the material. Again, this is the sandpaper as well, but it's liquid sandpaper. But it's very, very fine. So the way you apply, it's pretty simple. You get a small piece of paper towel. I apply a little bit on paper towel, not on the unit, on the paper towel like that. All right. Then you start rubbing it gentle. Don't be rough, just very really gentle. Until all the noise goes away. Okay, just I'm going to show you one area where you see what this product actually does. Go one direction. Do not go this way and that way. One direction only. Okay. You see, it takes some out as well, some of the color, because the sandpaper again. Okay. I want to spend more time to do this, but I want to show you quickly how this is being done. Then I'm going to get clean paper towel, small piece. I'm going to go over it. See, still bringing shine to it. You see that? See how smooth it is. Look, really, really smooth. Cannot hear anything. Okay. All right. Then, when this finish, we're going to uh, buff it up. So, let's continue. See how much it took out. Again, it, this, we're using every grade of sandpaper. The purpose is to make this as glossy as possible. 
the rest, the haze, I'm going to use another product to remove all the haze. That, that's the haze area. See that? Not bad, huh? And let's do some inside where we repair. Let's see how shiny it is. I'm going to take some of those shine away. Let's so match the rest of the interior because in the inside it's not as shiny. I can't make it shiny, but you know. Just trying to match it to the other side. So you see? Here, remember, I did not sand it. If you sand it a different way, any imperfection will show the best to do what I'm doing. You see that? Okay. It's looking good. You cannot tell this was broken at all. At all. I want to use these three products so you see the difference between them. This is the first one, of course. The second one is new finish. And the third one is a company that is American company. But you cannot find this product in the United States anymore. So I order it overseas. They still make them overseas. So I put a tape here. And I'm going to use this tree up here so you can see the difference. So let's just start with the first one. I already shake them pretty well. So this is that side. Metal, we're going to use new finish. Dip a different paper towel. This is the metal section. And I didn't time them to see how much I'm polishing, how long I'm polishing. Okay. Now well, let's use the third product. I try to use the same amount. So let's do it this side. Look at how much this one did, uh, collects dust. So the first one, this is what the paper towel shows. I apologize, I didn't show it to you earlier. Didn't take that much dust out. The second one, new finished. See, removed some of the uh, whatever polish. Third one, it took a lot. So let's, let's polish, then we will compare them. So this is the first one. And let's work on the second one. All right. Let's look at how much haze each of them they have. That's the first one. See on the light. That's the second one. It's pretty hazy, you know, the new finish. This one has last haze. This is more haze. And this one, don't know if you can see it or not, it looks perfect. And that's why I need to use that product. It doesn't leave that much haze, you know. Don't know if you can see it or not. They all work. You know, it depends what type of shine you want to get, you know, from Bakelite. Now you know why I like to use this product. You see the difference? Anyway, let me take the tapes out. So I can polish the entire radio. This after taking the tape off, you see, without the wax, this is without the wax, this is with the wax. So that's why I'm using the wax. Let me finish this. When I ordered that overseas, it took over 40 days to get to U.S. But I used to buy it right here in the United States years ago, in, in 1990s. You could purchase them from distributors 
and I don't know why they stopped make, for making it here in the United States. See it's how much stuff is taken out. And this is a quick, right? If you spend more time, of course, it's going to be much nicer. This is just to show you. Using this cloth, again, just want to show you. Look at the shine. It's like a mirror. Let me show you this. See the reflection, the reflection of the product. Okay. Now you know why I'm using that product. I tried others and uh, they're really good, but this is the, the last one, as I mentioned, is just unbelievable. Let me finish the cabinet. I want to take the opportunity and thank you for taking your valuable time watching these videos. If you're interested to see more videos like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and you will be notified uh, when a new video being uploaded. You have a great day.